take them, take them. I so, win. Yeah. Everybody, what is up? My name is Mackenzie. And I'm Jonathan. We are husband and wife, and we'd like to welcome you to Terradice. And today we're taking a look at the brand new party game, Master Dater, by the team at Cyanide and Happiness. Longtime comic, now they also have games, Joking Hazard, Trial by Trolley, and now Master Dater. Yeah, so in this game, <laughs> you are playing uh, Matchmaker, and you're gonna be helping this sexy single find his perfect match. <laughs> you're gonna find the best body and the best head. Let's check it out. Okay, so we thought the best way to show you this game would be to just like play it. And mm -hmm. it's totally a party game for more than two people. We had a lot of fun at four. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, basically the way that you play is one player is the sexy single. And they're gonna draw three cards from the super huge interest deck. And it's gonna say, uh, let's see, I need someone who can send a really good death threat. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm interested in getting a makeover. Okay. And fun fact about me, I think the world has too many trees. Interesting. <laughs> so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take from uh, this hand of three heads and three bodies, and we're going to create the ultimate dating profile. So okay. let's go ahead and do that first. All right. <laughs> Are you ready? I am ready. All right, you <laughs> can go first. Oh man, okay. okay. <laughs> I am the princess digging a hole. Okay. <laughs> so. Explain. Yes, um, well, you wanna get a makeover. No one gives a makeover like a princess. So uh, we're gonna have a princess party and you're gonna get a super makeover <laughs> okay. at my Bippity Boppity Boutique. Um, and fun fact about me, I think the world has too many trees. So I'm just gonna dig a bunch of holes uh, and uproot all the trees around. So you also think that's also your fun fact? Yeah, yeah, oh, okay. I also think this too. Right. Um, and you said you needed someone who can send a really good death threat. Nothing sends a death threat like digging a grave for them in front of them. Ah, okay, yeah. okay, okay. <laughs> All right, um, so uh, for you, I have my perfect, perfect pairing. We have perfect hair Grim Reaper. Okay, <laughs> so can send really good death threats. I am death. I <laughs> am going to send you the best death threats because I don't just threat. I, I like finish it. <laughs> I don't know if I can say this on YouTube. Okay, getting a makeover. Have you seen my hair? It's perfect. I'm perfect hair grim reaper. So obviously I can help you with your makeover desires. Thinking the world has many trees, you know what? I get you because I, as a grim reaper, I have this ax thing. Whack, <laughs> whack, down the trees they go. All right. All right. So the way we're gonna do this is like normally it would be a non like a um, party that doesn't think that uh, have an opinion on this. So leave us down below what you think would win. But so actually yeah. the way that you do it, you are gonna divvy out each of these cards to the person who you yeah. think got each card. So I could give you know you both of these cards. Cause um, clearly. Clearly, yeah, you killed that. And then this one could go either way. I feel like you know the world too um, many trees. World too many trees. Uh, but you dug yeah. a hole. Uh, you literally right. could plant more trees <laughs> right. with the holes right. you have dug. Take them, take them. I so, win. Yeah, <laughs> so, so she wins three of these cards. You win when you get five cards, including one of each category, which there's three different categories. So you are well on your way to okay, victory. Let's try another yeah, one. Yeah, let's do another. Um, cool. So after you would do that, you would draw up and you would draw another head and another body to add to your three. Yes. Fun fact about me, I'm really cold all the time. Okay. I'm start I'm interested in starting a cult. And I need someone who can help me steal the Declaration of Independence. Ah <laughs> Nicholas Cage, I'm here for it. Is there a Nicholas Cage head in here? That'd be great. Maybe. Yeah. You know, there's see. a lot of variety in here. <laughs> Okay, you can go first. All right, okay. <laughs> so, for your dating pleasure, we have um, Ninja Flying British Nanny. All right, <laughs> so so you're cold all the time, right? So I have a scarf that I can lend you and um, you're going to be warm from that. Uh, stealing the Declaration of Independence, I am a ninja. So <laughs> a magical ninja. A magical ninja. <laughs> so I am climbing over all those beams and getting there, starting a cult. Well, you can see I'm a ninja. So I'm already part of my own little like cult. Oh, okay, like, okay. I'm samurai tribe. So you can just <laughs> like come and join us. All right. All right. Sounds good. Well, next up for this person, I present. 
Cthulhu pyromaniac. <laughs> so, you said you're cold all the time. I am a pyromaniac. I will light anything on fire to keep you warm. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, you've got my love to keep you warm and you've got you know your house to keep you warm because it's on fire. <laughs> and talk about starting a, a cult. Have you heard of my cult? I am Cthulhu. I have yeah. so many cults of worshipers. <laughs> And I can help you steal the Declaration of Independence because I can go light a fire as a distraction and then we can go sneak in and grab it and then I can help you light a fire under it to find the hidden messages. It'll be great. If you lit a fire under the Declaration of Independence, you might catch it on fire. <laughs> they didn't use fire, then they use like Lemon heat, juice. Lemon juice and then they breathed on it. And then yeah. they used hair dryers. Anyway, I'm talking about that. This is be the plot of National Treasure. <laughs> All right, that is pretty much is Master Dater, and you go until someone has five cards. Yes, five like... cards. And gosh, these cards are so funny. Yeah, there let's just some, like pull some out real some fast. Some really good ones. Random. Uh, I'm a big fan of um, this wrestler body. This is pretty fun. Yeah, the art's um, really cool. Yeah, and I like a planet sized. <laughs> this planet sized person. I like rock with googly eyes. <laughs> yeah. I like taco on a unicycle juggling chainsaws. <laughs> Actively performing surgery. <laughs> There's just some pretty silly, some Super some that I am not going to show you on this camera. No, some are um, <laughs> slightly inappropriate, but you can see that for yourself. Um, and the heads are just as funny. Yeah. Um, yeah. You got the, the shark head, the, um, the alien. I like the flaming pumpkin head. That's mm -hmm. kind of a fun one. Some of them are just like really just hilarious. <laughs> so, yeah. All right. So that, in a nutshell, that is Master Dater. Uh, I really had fun playing it. And like, to be honest, this has been a really fun party game. We have played, we have pulled it out many times lately. Yeah. When we well, because my favorite thing, it's less than 10 minutes. That's what I'm happy yeah. with. Because this could be a game, <laughs> it could be, very easily, could go on too long. But yes, the we played it several times at this point. I think five, and it's it, it always feels like it lasts just the right amount of time. It yeah. always ends in like laughter, and like was a really good. I find yeah. this is a really good opener to a game to people when you come in and they're playing and everyone's like, oh, what do we play? And like, oh, let's warm up with this. Um, yeah, it's a good it's like ten to fifteen minutes, nice little really filler. short, doesn't go on yeah. too long. So I think it's an excellent party game. So <laughs> I I'm really happy with this one. Yeah, yeah. All right, guys. If you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can know whenever we put out a new video. And we'll see you next time. Happy, happy playing. playing.